and may die in DSS custody over health issues in American Hotels Court. The indigenous people of Biafra, leader and Radio Biafra director in Amdekano has sued the Nigerian government over his continued detention at the national headquarters of the Department of State Services. In June, the IPOP leader was arrested in Kenya and extradited to Nigeria to face treason charges. He was subsequently arraigned and brought before Bintanyako, a judge of the Federal High Court in Abuja, who asked him to be remanded at the DSS custody. Kanu is facing charges bordering on treasonable felony instituted against him at the court in his response to his agitation for his or for the Republic of Biafra. He was granted bail in April 2017 on health grounds, but skipped bail after disregarding some of the conditions given to him by the court. That is a lie. Um, probably most likely a setup because his residence was attacked, which means that he had to escape. However, in a suit filed at the federal court in Abuja through his lawyer Ifan Yejo for the IPOB leader, prayed for a court order quote, directing the transfer of the applicant from, applicant from the custody of the national headquarters of the state security service to the Nigerian Correctional Service Center in Kuje, Abuja, within the restriction of this honorable court where he was initially detained before he was granted bail pending the determination of the charge. His lawyer also sought an order of his honorable court directing the defendant applicant custodian to grant access to his medical experts and doctors to carry out comprehensive independent medical examination of the defendant applicant's body condition and status while in custody kanu added that he might die if his health condition is not addressed promptly wow this is very much scary um and I think what is really sad about this is that the expectation I had sort of when he was arrested was I thought that, you know, the whole country was going to be like, woo, what is going to happen? Listen, it's not until when somebody dies, then everyone starts reacting and say, oh, hey, yeah, he was a good man. He did this. He did that. That should not really be the case. Um, right now, uh, right now, there really isn't any... Um, there really isn't anything to sort of prove anything at the moment that... His lawyers can use, but then again, it's like everything has to be within the court of, you know, within the legal framework of the country, and it's very, and it's very, very sad. Um, again, as I said, we don't want to wait until when, you know, this man could possibly, um, have lost his life, um, because he says that, because again, apparently he was beaten from Kenya and went through a lot, and then taken to Nigeria in, in the custody of the DSS. And um and because of the DSS and now you don't know what could have I mean again listen the DSS look at what they did to Ibuhu's house. <laughs> that is already enough for it for it to tell you the severity and intensity in which they may deal with an Ambicano. That's just that is literally just it. That is it. That is it. Um and it says and it's sad. Somebody here says, Mazen Amdekano, you will not die. Elohim will certainly come to your aid and heal you for his own glory. Bruv. How? Like, how? <laughs> like, how? H how is this going to happen? No one is fighting for him. And I think what is more... I don't know if it's suspicious or it's interesting or it's unlucky or it's unfortunate. I don't know how to describe it because what is very much confusing right now is that nothing has been done in terms of defending Amrikanu, like I have not seen a massive movement of BR France coming to his aid. So I'm like, are they just gonna not do anything about it or are they planning something very big? We are not really, really sure. So I just think that it's very much sad because with this, I expected 100% that BR France would be livid and they'd, you know, start protesting, you know, probably, you know, result in an outbreak of violence in some cases. I am just saying, I'm not saying it has to be that, but I'm just saying nothing has happened. The only thing I know of in terms of being a protest or anything happening is outside the country. And that is in London where um, BR France came and they, protest, they protested at the, um, at the House of Parliament in London. And that was it. In Nigeria, we've had like, some people, I think Abarabe, yes, and some others also speaking to his defense. But it's never really, it's not really been a huge, you know, outpour of woe. Nigerian government, be careful. It's not really been like that. So, yeah, this is definitely very much suspicious. Uh, somebody says the UN and the UK should do the needful by serving justice. They can't change in our case. The House of Commons should not change in Kanu's case. 
justice delayed is justice denied oof well um, i don't know because the, the uk ha has loyalties to the nigerian state not necessarily uh, not necessarily um and i'm the kind of because i'm the kind of wants the country to separate and we know that the uk was a col well yeah technically it was a colonizer and still is today technically in some ways um and they are benefiting from nigeria or the 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 the, the, the presence or the birth or the existence of nigeria as a state they are benefiting from all that and its resources and all that so again i really think that again with the british trying to step in it is more likely that they won't because their loyalties do not lie with the namdukanui their loyalties lie with the nigerian state that's what it is. Somebody says, my leader, my leader, Elohim, the giver of health, will never allow that to happen to you. I just know that. I just don't know why most of them who are still in this struggle, relenting in your case. I just don't know why I feel like dot, 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 dot. Okay. Somebody says, you can never really die there, my leader. But if eventually happens, all of us will die fighting. Again, it's not just a one-man job. If you want Biafra to happen, you cannot just depend on one man. You cannot depend. Okay, fine. Inam de Kanu is the person that's going to save us all. Absolutely not. In fact, anything, I don't think there's nothing else Inam de Kanu needs to do. I don't think there's anything else that Inam de Kanu needs to do. He has done his job. Um, for the Biafran youths, I guess he's been there long enough. Again, if those that are studying under him or whatever, he has done his job. He has done enough. I mean, what else do you want the man to actually do? What else? There's nothing more he can do. He's done his best. He's really done his best. And if one Biafra to achieve to be achieved. Uh, the reference are going to have to step up and start making big moves or else nothing's going to happen. And unfortunately, it will seem like as if all this that he did and the fight of our ancestors would be in vain, in which I am probably I probably think they wouldn't want that because, again, our, our ancestors were not just complacent people that were just sitting down mm -hmm. there and just watching certain things happen. Um, they took action and so should we. Somebody says, Biafra, shall we live forever, men? Let's end it once and for oh uh somebody says you deserve it a lot innocent people have been lost their lives due to your devious acts if i are in charge of that prison okay we're going to ignore such a comment see you can say it's harsh but we don't have comments you don't read comments that do not add any value to be very honest um because we know and if you don't know you need to know and it you have to know that's it uh if you and if you don't know it's most likely that you are choosing not to know period Someone says, in less than a month, you're complaining. Wow. Wow. I need to ignore these comments. But then again, a lot of Northerners are here commenting. Mm -hmm. And obviously, they are very much excited mm -hmm. about all this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Um, put what you think about this in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.